right, we are going to make some hibiscus drink. Now, you can make a tea or a nice, refreshing, cool drink out of hibiscus. And uh, it is the flower. It is the flower. And it is very, very tasty. And it is very medicinal. So good for your body. Now, the um, what, what I do is I put about this much, about this much here, into a thermos, or you can use just about anything, and it doesn't matter how much you put in there. That's probably a little too much. It would be too much for a cup of tea, for sure, but uh, probably half of what I have there, probably about that much for a cup of tea. Um, anyway, so what I'll do is I'll throw it in the thermos and then I'll put some hot water in there. Now, what I normally do is, <laughs> you'll have to excuse me, been working out in the yard all day and that's why I'm making this drink. I, uh, I'm dehydrated, very thirsty and dehydrated. So anyway, uh, I throw, throw it in the in the thermos and then I'll bring the water to a boil and then I'll uh, take it off of the heat I'll let it sit for about five minutes and cool down a little bit then I'll pour it in here oh probably three four inches in there like I'm making a cup of tea and uh, I'll let it sit I usually let it sit an hour and, and that is uh, just to let it cool down kind of naturally And this is what I have. Now, you can drink a cup of tea. You can let it steep for 15 minutes and drink it as a cup of tea. You might need a little sweetener. It is very tangy. And I do not like hot and tangy. I do not like that. So, but anyway, it makes a nice, refreshing drink. And so that's what I'll be making now. I've got water from the Berkey. Good, clean water from the Berkey water filter. You can also eat these. They are good. They are yummy. They're rough and tough, but they are good. A nice little treat. See that? That's a nice cup of tea. But you don't need it that dark. You do not need it that strong. That is very strong. You need it about half that strong. Silver plate. Awesome. If you can eat off of silver, do so. It is so good for you. This is a uh, Roger Brothers, 1940, uh, 1847 Roger Brothers. But this was actually the 100 year anniversary or something like that. Remembrance. I don't know. I think it was in the 40s this was made. Not the 1840s, but the 1940s. That's it, so good for you. Now in that Berkey, that water comes out nice and cool. Oh, mercy, look at that, friend. Oh my.
so good. Oh my, that's so good. Hang on, hang on. Oh, man, that's good. I hope I can get it where you can see it. Whew. I'm dehydrated. Okay, so hibiscus, tea or drink, whatever. Excellent, excellent for the kidneys, urinary tract, and that sort of thing. It's a diuretic, so it will make you pee-pee. Uh, excellent cancer fighter, and I can go on and on about it, but I don't have time. You can Google it and see. Excellent cancer fighter, excellent for the digestive system, the digestive tract, the stomach, your gut, just excellent for it. But most of all, it is excellent for lowering, listen to me, listen to me. This is excellent for lowering, for lowering high blood pressure. Excellent for lowering, lowering, I don't know how to say that word, for lowering your high blood pressure. Excellent for that. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> That's what happens when you're a pig. I am so dehydrated. Mm. And that's not a good thing. For, be, for me to be so health conscious and to let myself get dehydrated <coughs> like I do is terrible. Excellent, excellent tea or drink. Man, makes an excellent summer, spring, hot day drink. Woo! So good for you. It will lower your blood pressure. Do you hear what I'm saying? It will literally lower your blood pressure. And uh, if you're having blood pressure issues, I know people hate it. They can't stand it. But go on a vegan diet for a while. Just for a little while and see if that lowers your blood pressure. At least 30 days go on that diet. Uh, I'm not a vegan. Um, it's a rough way to go. But uh, if I wanted to get my blood pressure down, I would be on a strict vegan diet. I'd be drinking this every day, especially in the summer. Anyway, that's it, friends. I am not an expert. Not even close. Nope, so you do your own research. Uh, this is just some of the stuff I do. Just some of the stuff I do. And yeah, I do do some stupid stuff sometimes. Uh, anyway, uh, this is just some of the stuff I do. So do your own research. Google's at your fingertips while you're sitting at home bored. Turn the TV off and Google some stuff. Learn some stuff. Get on YouTube and learn how to do something. Paint the house. Grow a garden because we don't know what's going to happen. And so if we have a bad economic downturn, eh, you'll have, you know, half of your food out in your yard. Get you some chickens. Right now is an excellent time to get uh, some chickens. And I can't think of the hatchery where I used to order mine, but they were awesome. I never had one die. Uh, McMurray. Murray McMurray or McMurray or something like that, but uh, they were excellent. So do something. Grow you a garden. And you're sitting at home. Get them kids out there and let them learn how to do something. We'll see. Look at that. That's my wife. Bad, 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 bad. 